Okay, so you're probably wondering sometimes why your electric fence isn't as effective for your cattle and your horses and your goats as you'd like it to be. And we have an electric fence system that is set up that is supposed to be good for 25 miles. And I only have, I think here, like two or three acres enclosed. Um, so I know that even with the double strand, I don't have 25 miles. And so I was doing some research last year the cows were actually touching it with their noses. They were reaching through it and eating grass on the other side. And uh, so I did some research and I found out that if your grounds that are pounded into the ground, your copper uh, leads are not wet enough, or if the animals are not standing in moist grass or dirt, there's nothing to conduct and do the snap on them to get them to back off and not want to push through your fence. So what I have done is I have gone to each fence, not fence, but uh, pounded in ground rod, and I have jammed the hose in, and I'm watering the ground underneath. That's gonna get the rod, I have eight foot rods in there, and they are copper all the way through, not just coated, and um, that'll conduct the electricity better, and then the water, um, gets the juices flowing between the cow or the horse and the goat and the fence and the ground. So don't go out and buy a stronger fence. If you've got 25 miles or 100 miles and it's not working right and it hasn't been raining for quite a while, just water the ground around it, shove the hose down deep. I've got it down eight feet deep on some of those so that it gets all the way to the bottom of the ground. It hasn't rained here for two or three weeks fence is not working effectively now it will also what you want to do is make sure that your connections that your connections are tight this one's kind of loose so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tighten this up and make sure and now that the ground is gonna be softer I'm actually gonna pound these in farther I can get another foot in the ground in all of these they're eight foot leads they say you can do six I did eight if I can get another 12 inches in the ground um, then I'll be able to get more conductivity with the soil and the moisture in the animal. Also make sure you do three ground rods, 10 feet apart. If you do one, it's okay. If you do two, it's a lot better. If you do three, it's amazing. So don't just do one or two and skimp out because they're expensive right now. And I hope you have a great fencing experience with your animals.